We call this planet Earth, but it's actually all water mostly. Two thirds of the planet is ocean. We think that what we know in the, on the Earth, on the land, is all that there is. We think of these enormous trees that create all the oxygen through the photosynthesis. And that's what we've always thought in the past have been the lungs of the planet. But the lungs of the planet are the oceans. Where on the Earth, the, the flora are big. We have these giant trees and little leaves which does all the photosynthesis. In the oceans, it's the other way around. There's nothing big that's growing. There's no big flora. It's all just tiny little creatures. In fact, they're minute, and yet their total biomass is more than all the trees on the, on the Earth. And as a designer, I, I look at this incredible array of life forms, these amazing structures of these little creatures, which are called plankton or diatoms. They're the bottom of the whole life chain in the oceans. And there are so many millions of them that they're producing more oxygen than all those trees on the land. So these things are really, really important. Without them, half of the oxygen which we breathe wouldn't exist. The vicula is a diatom. We took that form to create the light of, of the navicular, and that's where it all started from. When we started designing the navicular, we had an idea of what we wanted to create with it. So we had this idea of this curve like this. When we built it in reality, it twisted. That wasn't planned. We couldn't have designed that on Rhino. That just happened out of its own internal structural logic. So right from the start, it had its own life. It said, no, I'm going to be like this. It's made from the same bamboo plywood that we use for all our other lights, um, because it's thin, because it's light, because it's flexible. The light took a lot of development because we needed a strip along the length of, of this form. And because the form gets narrower at either end, there appeared to be a lot more light there. So it was looking brighter at the ends. So then we had to go back and, and reduce the amount of light um, by covering up some of the LEDs so that we created a balanced illumination uh, all the way from one end to the other. These strictly aren't kit sets, so they're not uh, designed to be made by everybody in their homes. They're slightly more complex to assemble. So we ship these packed flat to our different territories where they're sold, and then from there shipped made up to the client. There are three sizes. It goes from 1.5, two meters, and 2.5 meters. So they're quite adaptable. You can have a small one in quite a small space in the corner of a house, in a room, or you can have the big one in an entrance foyer or, or in a commercial space, or a few of them. So, so they can be used in a whole raft of different um, settings.